Let's go over the next example. Example number three. X squared minus 10x plus 16. Well, different expression, but the same way of thinking. And the same order of looking at the terms. We look at the first term, we look at the last term, and then specifically speaking, we look at the second coefficient, negative 10. So for the first term, as usual, x squared is a product of positive x and positive x. So we place it there. Now we, we look at the last term, positive 16. We want to come up with two numbers that multiply together to give us back positive 16 but also add it together to give us back second coefficient, negative 10. Well, let's see, um, 16, it's the same as saying, well, let's try it, let's try positive eight times positive two. Well, positive eight times positive two, if we were to add them together, that's positive 10, which is super close to what we want, but we want negative 10, not positive 10, so this is out. What if we were to say, negative 8 times negative 2. Well, negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16, but if we were to add them together, negative 8 plus negative 2, which is the same as saying negative 8 minus 2, hey, guess what? We got negative 10 right there. So we place these two factors in here, negative 2, and then a minus 8, and this is the factor form of this example okay and you guys can go ahead and check it just like i did up here either by foiling uh yeah either by foiling or doing the box method